Hello, this is Zaida from Visual Components. Today we are going to learn how to create a simultaneous flow of products in process modeling. As you can see, we have here a layout example with the final result. There is a cube component following a parallel flow and a cylinder following a flow in series. Now let's drag and drop the components that we will use in our layout. We will need a feeder process, a sync process. We will use the cube and the cylinder as template. Let's drag and drop now a medium turning machine and a small turning machine. Now that we have the components we need in the 3D world, let's define the products. Let's create a new flow group and select the cube and the cylinder. Let's change the properties of the cylinder so it will be easier to see and follow in the simulation. After that, let's select the feeder and change the feed mode to batch so it will create both cylinders and cubes in a fixed amount and interval. Don't forget to press on define products. Now let's define the processes. For being able to have simultaneous flows, we are going to use the reserved product statement. You have to select the accepted flow group and to set a product variable name. Don't forget to set this name as the reserved product variable name of the transport int statement. Now let's add a set node material statement and let's copy and paste our process. Now let's use the reserve product statement for the flow group 2. So the process 1 will be executed in the cylinder component. Once we have changed the reserve product variable name, let's change the set node material. So it will be easier to follow which process has been executed in a component during the simulation. Now let's copy and paste the small turning machine. Once we have located the new machine, let's change the process name. Also, let's change the material in the set node material statement so it will be easier to know when the cylinder has gone through the process too. After those modifications, we are ready to create the flow for our components. Don't forget to click on the labels so the flow will get updated. If you forget to click, on the label, you can click on the addition sign on the right to select the process. Now we are ready to run our simulation to check if it is working as is supposed. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.